Hey, and yup. Yes. Gonna start that uh, off with the uh, elbow bump. But the, the elbow trade in. Mark signature extra O in the pink Ooh. link. And what's going on Wait, right we here? Wait, we already wasted a Wonder Wing? A question mark? Me thinks we did. Yeah, because you only because Banjo only has about 15 per uh, per game, you know, one, th five per stock. So wasting one is really detrimental against a character like uh, Young Link, who you probably need it for in the air whenever he does a uh, upbeat or anything like that. So definitely a, a pretty weird choice to go off stage with Wonder Wing, but you know, I don't play Banjo. I I'm gonna let the Banjo player do his thing. And you know, to be completely honest, I already like the way that they're taking this. Um, Extra O's definitely been playing really well at just making sure that he's keeping in mind, you know, what you, um, Ray actually really likes to do in just terms of just playing neutral. Ray's been kind of just been going for a lot of just making sure he pulls out um, Grenade and just Extra is not really letting him do all that. If I'm going to be completely honest, this is definitely a good way to start out this match because, you know, they're not really fighting, but they're definitely just, like, doing what they need to do to win because that's honestly what it's looking like right now. Yeah, Banjo out here throwing grenades and eggs, Young Ling throwing out the flaming arrows as well as Boomerang. Which, of course, Young Ling's special, and once Young Ling gets close enough, he'll be able to do F2, forward smash, down smash, anything that he's needed. And again, Wonder Ring offstage, really weird choice. I don't understand. He had an opportunity to actually uh, kill Young Ling off the top of the stage had he gone up and done like an up air or something like that. But, you know, we'll let it be. I'm and be might buy him, like, may, might give a little bit of a setback for him if he's a V, if Extra keeps continuing. Oh, oh Wonder Ring, let's go! What you talking about, Bestie? I was just worried. I was like, Wonder Ring, that's, that's three Wonder Rings gone, two on deck. Um, I mean, so the thing about this is that honestly, Banjo really does not need Wonder Wing. But if you don't know how to really play against Banjo, it can definitely be very hard for you. You definitely have to make sure that for a really good half of the first game, you need to keep out when is Banjo using, you know, um, Wonder Wing. Because mm -hmm. you honestly really don't want to be in a situation where you're dealing with Grenade, you're dealing with, you know, um, just everything that Banjo has, especially his fair choose. Fair is definitely really safe. But that's going to end up in Extra O taking that first stock at 177% with only 41, you know, percent on himself. Not too bad, definitely for sure. But I definitely think that this is kind of where, like, we're going to see, you know, Extra O just be a little bit more safe. Especially, like, right there. There's been the second time, I think, actually right there where, you know, Ray has kind of just been, like, throwing out these Wonder Rings. You know, trying to make it seem a little bit less, you know, predictable. But especially at this percent, 74%, that's definitely not really going to do much for Ray. So honestly, I feel like we definitely just need to see a little bit more of um, just less usage of Wonder Wing. Because I honestly feel like, again, like you were saying, it definitely hasn't been working too well for them. Only that one time that it was kind of just caught off guard. Yeah, it came out really fast. I, I didn't think uh, Ashura would be able to protect when that Wonder Wing came out that took uh, his first stock. But you know, you, uh, you took me right, really, both in, both, the char both characters, uh, both players, uh, a pretty even percentage right now, a little bit more detrimental for extra O, just for uh, with Young Link against someone like Banjo and Kazooie. And uh, I haven't really seen any of those setups also, also, also from Topian Ray with the uh, egg and grenade possibly used for any ledge trapping or um, up air or like, like in the air kills. But that would definitely take it. And honestly, 87 percent of Topian Ray's name isn't that bad. Ooh, missing the up B kill! Might get punished for it if he's, if he's, if he's able to kind of like, um, keep going with these uh, with these combos. He's at 20% already. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, what's kind of been going on here is aside from the fact that, you know, although we are talking about how much Ray has been using his um, Wonder Wing, mm -hmm. it's definitely good to note for the fact that we've been seeing Ray call out a lot of things, especially, you know, one in particular. The amount of times, you know, Extra has been jumping, especially in neutral, catching a lot of those jumps, especially with that up smash. But speaking of up smash, we're going to see Extra kill um, Ray's second stock with that up smash of his own. This is still definitely looking pretty even. I'm going to be very honest. Yeah, honestly, pretty even, pretty even game nonetheless. Extra O 58%, 23% for each Ray. I'm not even that bad anyway. And this is because uh, Extra O was able to get a lot of percentage on each Ray right now with, um, with his own attack. So. You know, I'm really want, what I really want to see from these two, I know there's, there's a, it's, right now it's a, a lot of a projectile kind of game. A lot of flame arrows, a lot of uh, uh, boomerangs going on. Not too much of like some melee kind of up close attacks going on here, which, you know, that's calm. Oh, this might be, oh no, you just didn't get the, 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 the fair right there. Might Maybe here? Oh, getting the L smash instead. Good Absolutely. choice on the top platform. Definitely going to take it because of how close it is to the blast zone. 
So I feel like maybe kind of the thing that we might need to see a little bit from XRO is maybe just a little bit more understanding of like how he actually wants to play neutral. I feel mm -hmm. like he had a very good idea at the beginning, just making sure that, you know, he wanted to snipe out a lot of Ray's jumps. But it just kind of got to the point where Ray was consistent calling out a lot of neutral um, options that, you know, XRO did have. You know, it was kind of just whenever, you know, Ray was kind of just inching himself a little bit closer is when he started noticing, okay, hey, maybe I can kind of, you know, run up a little bit of up smash here, maybe, you know, maybe I can just pick a little bit of my spot here just a little bit better. And that's exactly how Ray took this first game. Now, if we can definitely maybe just see a little bit more of grounded play, we can definitely see maybe extra I would take a sec the second game right no, now. No, we're going to ever get with the Roy. I just heard Roy come out. Roy? Yeah, Roy with Benjamin Kazooie, maybe a best, a much better choice. Because instead of playing the uh, the projectile game, maybe it's more important to play a more folk, a, a more um, aggressive playstyle with Roy, which he does very well with his fares, his uh, landing aerials. <gasps> Never mind. Wow, we're gonna see that kill already. A very early stock for Ray coming in here. Sad, very, very sad SD right there for extra O. Really sad, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, like I was saying, Roar is very good with these very close-up uh, plays he's able to get. And again, like I said early in like the, another game, um, that Roy can kill very easily off the uh, off the ledge, which why why you don't want to take Roy to the ledge because he can kill you sixty percent um, or seventy percent depending on how much your character weighs and stuff like that. So in your DI, of course. But you know, getting that Jair and oh no, I was back. I can't even see. I'm definitely gonna be completely Game's honest. Fair. This is still, you know, barring that SD, this is definitely still a very good first game. Has taken a minimal um percent on already, and this can definitely end in a there stop like yep. that back air right there. Told you those landing near areas that Romains love to do. You have to really watch out for them because they can be very different to your stock. Absolutely, and that was just really good on extra oath part, just keeping Ray at ledge. But you know, if Ray has anything to say about it, it looks like this 54% is definitely doing something. Oh god, it, see now now we're actually, uh, besides that, that first SD, now we're pretty much even again, because again, Roy much better at playing this kind of uh, matchup that Banjo does not want, where he has to now be more melee rather than use grenades and eggs as much as he wants in order to keep Roy at bay. So, you know, Roy kind of taking out a lot of control of the, of the center stage at the moment. Oh, the down there. there. He forward throw possibly into a no trying to do a, a four time situation, but couldn't get charged in time, got knocked out of it. Oh, Ooh, the push throw into down air? Right get is saucy with it. Oh, oh, oh right get is saucy with I it. I see it, I see it. Now the foot throw into down air and then taking your stock off the ledge. That was saucy. Oh, that was good no. stuff. Maybe Banjo do be a little bit saucy. Who knows? But that was definitely a really good stock coming in from Ray. And I definitely feel like what's kind of attributing to this kind of disadvantaged position for Extra O is the fact that he hasn't really been able to get a lot of, um, you know, a little bit in tune to what Ray has been doing, especially in disadvantage. We haven't been seeing too much of Ray, um, Extra O just paying attention to a lot of his disadvantaged options, but this can still go either way. I definitely feel like this was a very good, you know, stage pick from Extra O. It's definitely showing like it's going out pretty well, but it's definitely looking a little bit more scary than it is, you know, doing any good. Yeah, in terms of phase pick, you never really want to take Roar to TNC, uh, solely because of changing platforms, and of course, he's able to ma maximize how much he can use that main platform in order to kind of kill you really easily. And also, you keep you in the air, or do Jair, or just kind of a lot of law falling aerials uh, to the advantage with the platforms. But this might be it, he's gonna get the up smash, and he does! Oh! Gain the same kill as he did last game. Wow. That was really nice on Ray's part. That I don't know. I would have never thought actually no, I'm sorry. I still don't think Banjo is saucy, but like But that was yeah, saucy. That, that was kinda cute. That was that, cute. that was that was kinda cute. You can't tell me that like wasn't that cute because was that was like kinda cute. I don't know. I don't know. That was cute. But that was really sure. that was some really good plays, both from, from both players, honestly. SD was very unfortunate, but it didn't even hinder extra oh any kind of way. <laughs> like